Come Holy Spirit, come fill my heart, refresh my soul. This is your season of grace come with your host, Spirit, Patrick Henry Eden. Get ready for Grace Revolution. Look at Genesis chapter 1. Verses 6, uh, verses 26, 27. God said, Let us make man in our image and likeness. In our image and likeness. And let them do what? Let them do what? Let them have dominion. Let them rule. Let them rule over the livestock. Let them rule over the fish of the sea and the birds of the air. Over the livestock, over all the earth and over all the creatures that move along the ground so after this number six number seven god says everything has been done glory said so number seven god says everything has been done so number seven represents completeness totality everything is done everything is done and when everything has been done what do you do you rest so God has made rest possible and available. Yeah, God has made rest accessible and available for somebody. When we talk about the dust, the heavens and the earth were completed in all their vast array. We're talking about the physical heavens and the physical universe, the physical earth. But there is the particular heaven and the particular earth of every destiny every man every woman you have a particular heaven you have your world your world made of your maybe your husband wives children your work your finance your health everything about you constitutes your heavens and your earth your eternal salvation the heavens your earth prosperity here your health so when the scriptures said thus the heavens and the earth were completed in all their vast array so now let's make it personal I want you to know that personally you sitting down there personally your heavens and your earth have been completed in all their vast array it is not a prophecy it is a revelation that is what it is god doesn't need to start creating things for you again god doesn't need to start making your husband start making your wife god doesn't need to start making your children god doesn't need to start so when we pray we we're not like asking god okay so now start making things you forgot to make everything had been made shout hallelujah everything has been made everything has been made and when everything has been made so what remains then is rest and if you don't understand if you don't have the mindset and the mentality of rest you will work you will struggle you will hustle and you will never you will never have the kind of pleasure the kind of leisure the kind of happiness the kind of joy and fulfillment god wants for you now don't mistake this to mean that there comes a time you need to just be lazy you sit down and you do nothing in this context whether you are 20 years old it is time to rest <laughs> what do i mean by this you may still be going to school but you go to school with the mindset that everything has been done for you glory to god <laughs> too many people struggle and work like elephants and they eat like ants those people they miss the blessing of rest receive the blessing of rest i say receive the blessing of rest i say now receive the blessing of rest so there is a blessing of rest blessing of rest doesn't mean laziness blessing of rest means 
that what comes to you is beyond what you do that's the blessing of rest that the result of your labor makes you happy makes you forget that you woke up early in the morning the results of your work makes you forget the pains that is the blessing of rest when you live in the blessing of rest that does the heavens and the earth were completed in all their vast array your children completed the health of your children completed the wealth of your children completed <laughs> ah glory to god hallelujah <laughs> oh praise god i love this everything completed now as you're marrying you're marrying in rest as you're having children you're having children in rest why because you know that all these things have been completed and you are living in knowledge living in knowledge means it is done I'm living in the garden that has been prepared glory to God living in the garden that has been prepared for six days the father was busy making things then by the seventh day it is reported the heavens and the earth were completed in all their vast array by the seventh day god had finished the work nothing to be done about healing nothing to be done about anything so on the seventh day he himself rested and said i take rest Mean means man look at me so god is giving man an example that's what is happening here god is giving man an example he's telling man be modeled by me let me be your model while you are working in this garden know that there is rest in this garden <laughs> god is telling man look shh. while you are working in this garden know that there is rest in this garden so there is a blessing blessing of rest father we give you thanks oh we praise god and god then said to the people of israel moses said he said the lord said to moses say to the Israelite on the first day of the seventh month on the first day of the seventh month you are to have a day of Sabbath Sabbath rest God's intention in number seven is that you will rest whether you come from a village or you come from a country you will rest whether you come from a city or you come from the the suburb you will rest Amen. number seven is universal in every culture that is number seven. Oh, go among the chinese no, there is number seven somehow if you count from number one you will get to number seven i'm not sure of any culture that does not have the idea of seven and god says i am universal god says i am global god says in every culture i am present as number seven and i rested in my own number seven and when you connect me you connect number seven which means whether you are in china you will rest Amen. glory to god whether in you you are in europe you will rest Amen. ah whether you are in america you will rest how am i so sure the intention of god is that there is number seven number seven in creation after number seven no other number in the account of creation number seven is the the highest the high point the end of it all that means number one was leading to number seven when god was creating in number one light let there be light god had in mind number seven so whatever is happening in your life god is taking you to number seven i said what wherever you are when god was in number one do you know god was going to number seven how do i know because when he got to number seven he rested so god started in chapter one verse one verse two in verse three he said let there be light but god was not creating light to stay there after light he was moving on and he moved to another let there be 
but he was not staying there he was moving on he didn't rest until he finished everything he will not rest until everything is done and he rested actually because everything had been done glory to god and so number seven god rested and verse three said then god blessed the seventh day and made it holy because on it he rested from all the work of creating that he had done and by this he blessed when the scripture says he blessed the seventh day that means god put something in number seven this number seven there is something in it for you i don't know what it is what is it in number seven for you it is left for you to figure out now you need a spirit of revelation when blessing imparts something one thing i've come to know about blessing is that blessing imparts blessing adds to something what something did not have before blessing if you are blessed the moment you are blessed there is something that has come into being in you blessing is the additional in you blessing is the presence of something foreign something that has not always been there something that causes what has been there now to be useful to you blessing is like the fourth man in the fire it makes your fire different it makes your fire ah, Lebron, that you may be in a toil you may be as a slave you may be as a servant but if you are blessed there is an addition to your life that makes that environment not the end story for you that is why joseph oh i'm talking about blessing now i've left something i'm now talking about blessing so that you can figure out what is in number seven all right the scripture says joseph because the lord was with him he prospered in everything in the house of potiphar is that correct the lord was with him what does that mean the lord was with him because he had been blessed which means blessing is the lord is with you that's what bless the other way of saying one is blessed is that god is with you when somebody has been blessed god is with that person am i talking to somebody i say when somebody has been blessed god is with that person the hand of god is with that person so when the scriptures god blessed the seventh day god imparted something on the seventh day that means the seventh day is different that means number seven in the intention of god is different when you have labored and labored and you come to seven god says it is time to rest because there is something in seven that makes your fire a condition that is why joseph was still a slave in the house of potiphar but the slavery could not stop him by the time joseph became the ruler of the house of potiphar there was no proclamation at the legal level that joseph was no longer a slave that is why when the wife of potiphar set joseph up that there was no redress he didn't go to court nobody could help him because he had no rights it's just that he was blessed he was blessed slavery couldn't stop him i don't care what condition you are working in i don't care where you are living in i don't care who is your husband who is not your wife i don't care the point is this when god blesses you that condition cannot determine your life and today god has blessed somebody yeah. let me prophesy to you there will be an addition in your life yeah. yes how do i know because because this is number seven father we bless your name yeah. the scriptures are by the seven day god had finished what he had been doing and verse, verse three said then god blessed the seventh day god blessed god imparted hmm. oh glory blessing shall happen to somebody's destiny and when blessing comes toil lives it is correct when blessing comes toil lives when blessing comes fill your goose when blessing comes frustration dies 
when blessing comes peace comes is that not why though esau was a firstborn but he could not operate in the blessing he could not operate in the grace of the firstborn he was waiting for blessing esau was the firstborn but he saw lacked the capacity to operate in the dynamics in the power of the firstborn and the father told him give me something and i will bless you <laughs> give me that thing that i like the kind of food that i like it's so hard an entitlement at the natural level but the father said activate the natural thing activate it give me what i like and i will do what and i will bless you blessing made will have made esau to begin to walk in the power of the firstborn but to receive the blessing that was supposed to be his own the father said activate it give me something so it means give me something so that i give you the blessing that will make you walk in your status there's so many people who have status wife status husband status manager status director status but they don't walk in the grace they walk they don't walk in the power of the status they don't walk in the capacity of the status they don't walk in the dignity of the status it is one thing for you to have a status a status is what life has assigned you what purpose what destiny has assigned you too many times we just talked about a status i'm a wife i'm a husband i'm a director i'm a this i'm a that i'm a that i'm a minister you can be a minister and you die and you don't walk in the in the power of the status esau had the status of the firstborn but the father said give me something and i will bless you and when i bless you you will begin to walk in your status glory esau went to do it he traveled far he was alone tell somebody i will not be alone glory it is dangerous to be alone be alone is not about living alone be alone means you don't have connection and those who walk alone in destiny walking alone in destiny scripture says two are better than one that is the that is the law of connection ruth connected noami noami got a kinsman redeemer and ruth became great both of them became better than they should have been if noami went back alone to bethlehem noami will still die insignificant nobody will hear about noami the book of ruth is because ruth connected noami so when two come together something bigger than the two people come into place oh glory to god i say when two come together something that is bigger than the two comes comes forth don't underestimate what can happen when two meet together the power of connection i'm, I'm just throwing a principle at you so esau had no connection esau was a man who depended on his quiver on his strength by strength shall no man prevail you need something beyond your strength you need the power of connection but jacob had connection with the mother at the introduction of jacob and esau the scripture says esau was a skillful hunter but jacob dwelt in tent jacob was a romantic personality jacob was a very romantic personality that is why the mother connected him and so eventually esau failed because there was no connection but jacob who didn't travel anywhere because they had connection connection will take you to where strength will not take you yeah. i say connection will take you to where strength will not take you yeah. 
and then god bless the servants the servant. just take away day take away month let's settle with seven god is a god who blesses seven and god rested in seven because he blessed seven and for everyone god wants to lift he blesses the seven and brings you i said something you shouldn't forget wherever you are now god is taking you to number seven god is taking you to the place of rest and the place of the place of rest is a place of blessing so there is a connection between blessing and rest when somebody toils without blessing he toils without rest but when somebody walks with blessing somebody walks with rest you see some people they don't eat they don't have time to eat but they look so fresh succulent they look great refreshed strong and they say i don't have time i'm so busy that i don't have time to eat but how come you are so fresh they are walking in rest you will walk in rest yeah. lift up your two hands receive the blessing of rest yeah. every animal every beast that causes you to labor and to toil without rest by the power in the holy ghost in the in the name of jesus let the sword of Jehovah cut off the head of that beast and if the power of that beast is in the tail let the tail be cut off if the power of the beast are in the fingers and the hands let them be cut off whatever it is let it be cut off yes you begin to walk in rest thank you father and so father we give you thanks let me show you something um let's go back to that leviticus chapter 23 verses 23 25 said the lord said to moses the lord said to moses say to the israelites on the first day of the seventh month you are to have a day of sabbath rest a sacred assembly commemorated with trumpet blasts trumpets say so do no regular work but present a food offering to the lord two things or three things do not work do not work in this context can they be explained and within the context of the jews the sabbath was a time that they don't do any work but for here is an injunction an injunction that has spiritual implication and i'm not ready to talk about it so let's take that one aside let's talk about two things trumpet blast you are to commemorate make this day a real make this day what it is commemorate this day announce this day celebrate this day celebrate this day mark this day that's commemoration mark this day celebrate this day with trumpet blast so the commemoration of the first day of the seventh the seventh month is in trumpeting in prophecy in proclamation which means get ready to use your mouth to proclaim get ready to use your mouth to speak this trumpet blast means you will speak blessing upon yourself you begin to activate and as you prophesy you activate the scripture talks about number two do no regular work verse 25 but present a food offering to the lord food offering so the people of israel food offering means they prepared some kind of food and presented before the lord in the tabernacle but god doesn't eat food the lord does not eat physical food the scripture says that he dwells in the praises of his people when we worship god god smells god comes god feeds on the worship of his people which means the food offering here is the worship that we give to god and god just takes pleasure in it god takes delight in it because he loves us and because he loves us he comes to honor us with his presence when he comes in our midst the weak is lifted when he comes in our midst the the the, the, the lowly is lifted when he comes in our midst the blind see when he comes in our midst the poor becomes rich when he comes in our midst the sick is healed when he comes 
he comes a lot when we worship him thank you father this program is sponsored by the covenant friends and partners of grace family global outreach you can be part of this grace revolution by becoming a covenant partner today allow god to use you our account details are as follows bank zenith bank account name grace family global outreach account number 101 42 97863 for inquiries please call 081 804 33225 or 090 738 38742 to all our covenant partners and friends we say thank you like the widow of Zarephath your oil will never run dry to order for the books messages and other resource materials, please call or send an SMS to 080-660-46346 or 081-804-33225. Videos are also available on YouTube at www.youtube.com forward slash Grace Family Outreach. To stay connected, like us on Facebook at Grace Family Outreach or visit our website at www.gracecommission.org